Hey guys, it's Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. This is your ES Mini Euro Oil, and I'll talk about one earnings play as well. Uh, video recap for August 28, 2012. What is going on is the lack of momentum of the stock market. A lot of sand sitting on my hands doing nothing. We have not seen much activity. We have not seen much going on. Uh, another doji day today. Uh, you know, very, very tight trading range. On the daily chart, you know, all these overlapping bars, and I talked about it yesterday, and I don't want to reiterate the point, the fact that we basically have been in a 35-point range for the course of the last 19 trading days. Uh, I trade the minis on a 12, and let me sure, make sure my time interval is always right. It's, uh, it is correct. So, open up this morning, open up at uh, 1405 Quarter 80% of the time we have the higher low within the first hour. We got the low within the first hour, first hour 14.03 quarter. Rallied up to this 14.12, um, and you know a very very tight range today. Only about nine points. Uh, overlapping bars, you know, actually pretty big bars for the 12. I actually would have shorted on the low here um, if we had, this was earlier in the day. Um, so I did not short that. So the minis very very tight trading range day. So let's look at oil. Oil was down yesterday. I trade oil on a five uh, in the non globex session. Today, oil is basically above the cloud all day. Uh, oil opened up this morning. Opened up at 95.83, uh, just like the market. Sold off in the morning, 95.43. Rallied towards the high. Actually got to the high right around uh, 2.15. Uh, so pretty quiet day in oil. Let's bring up oil on the daily chart. Pretty strong, uh, you know. It's maybe starting to get a little toppy at this 98 level. It hasn't broke to the cloud. We see the cloud, you know, forming a little bit um, of a, I would call that a bat, like a baseball bat. Um, here, right here. Uh, so 98 might be a little toppy. I think it gets more bids on the downside than the sellers on the upside. Uh, Euro, still short the euro. Uh, you know, approaching highs. Technical buy setup in the daily. Uh, I've been shorted since 2026.30. I've kind of just left my position on. Uh, and I traded on the 240. And I talked about all these overlapping bars. Finally, we got a good signal. I did not take that long. Um, Euro, you know, 126 could be the high. Uh, and it's interesting from my point of view that we saw the market rallying pretty high to so basically the high uh, of the last six months, and the euro was selling off. Now we see the market selling off a little bit, looking a little weaker, and the euro rallying. So it's kind of an interesting concept for me. Uh, one thing I had an earnings play on, I have this on for tomorrow morning. It's TFM. Uh, this is fresh market. Um, you know, this is a very similar contract, healthy eating style. Um, a pretty nice bull channel all the way up. You no know, pullbacks have been bought, but pullbacks could be a little bit severe. Um, you know, it looks like a very similar chart to Whole Foods, WFM, and a very similar chart to Haynes Celestial. So on TH TFM, TFM, I bought the September 65, 75 calls, uh, 65 calls, so I bought the September 65 calls, and I sold the 55, 45 put spread. Uh, I did this as a package. I did that for $1.60. So I'm risking actually uh, $1,160 per one lot, um, and I can make uh, unlimited. I was looking at selling the 75s, and I decided against it because I think it has a measure move target to 72. It could really jump higher. So I'm expecting positive earnings out of TFM tomorrow morning. This is Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. This is your ES Mini Oil, Euro, and Earnings Update for August 28th. 2012. Have a great night. We'll run it back tomorrow.